Hello everyone and welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about what I believe to be the best Inferno build. So this is going to be a dual wielding build, with a little bit of magic thrown in there as well, just to give you more range and a little bit better burst damage. It is important to note as well that these enemies are very resistant to fire, so I am doing less damage to them, but as you can tell as the Ruiner approaches me, I dodge his attack, and then I hit him with a charged R2, and it does 2000, over 2000 damage and kills him instantly. So the damage is pretty significant, and I'm going to be showing the boss from the depths, so if you guys don't want to see that, or if you're not far enough in the game, you can click away now. But I'm pretty sure this guy is very weak to fire, because a single R1 does over 1700 damage, and I was able to kill him in just a few hits. Also, my main damage spell, the one that does the highest burst damage for me, did 4188 damage, and a single charged R2 attack did 3829. So these damage numbers are significant. I mean, these are damage numbers you might expect to see from using... A uh, grand sword. Another thing I want to mention is that if you guys need any of these items for the build because you don't have them, or you need cheap vigor or anything else, you can go to u4gm.com and use code Sarah for five percent off. I'll put the link in the description. And for the gear of the build, we are using two Light Reaper swords. And one thing I want to draw your attention to is the 810 attack power. That is very significant and a lot of damage. For the runes on it, it is important that you use the right runes. Uh, and the best runes for this are two TNRX runes on each sword. This is going to increase your fire damage. From what I've noticed through a lot of testing is that any rune that scales with the attributes or boosts the attribute scaling, uh, they don't work entirely. They are completely useless, so you're going to want to stay away from those and just pick up that good fire damage. And the next two runes we are using are the Demexis runes, and this is increasing your physical damage while dual wielding. This does boost the damage quite a bit, and it actually does boost the damage more than having all three TNRX runes, so it is better that way. For the armor of the build, we have the Grace of Adir Mask, we have the Lord Armor, the Skin Stealer Sleeves, and the Light Reaper Leggings. I think that this just looks amazing. I really, really like the look of it. And for the Tinks I am using, if you guys are curious, I use the Pride Bound on my helmet. And then for the armor and everything else, I use the Harbinger. And I really like this color scheme because if you can't tell here, it gives me red horns while everything else is black. For the Pendant of the build, we are using the Rogar's Delight. This is going to increase our fire damage. I found that it is better than the Warrior's Claw. It does more damage overall through a lot of testing. However, the next ring we are going to be using is the Lucent Sword Ring. This ring is awesome because most of the time you're going to be swinging, you're going to want to be at max health anyway. You're not going to be swinging for the fences when you're at 1 HP. So it just makes sense that you get that massive boost. I think it's about 20%, which is significant. And the next ring slot is actually optional. I personally use the Barrage route because I like that it gives me a lot more spell damage. Uh, you can opt for the Ring of Knight's Fire because this will give you additional fire damage and wither damage. So if you're going for a more just melee build and not as many spells, you are going to want to use this one instead. As for the stats of the builds, we are level 134. You don't need to be level 134. We have 9 Strength, 50 Agility, 25 Endurance, 35 Vitality, 8 Radiance, and 60 Inferno. I did start with the Inferno class, so I had a boosted Inferno already. But it is important that you get your Inferno and Agility pretty high for this build. And for the spells of the build, the two most important ones are Infernal Weapon. This is going to give us fire damage on our weapon, or extra fire damage on our weapon, because our weapons already have fire damage. And then we're going to be using Adir's Rage. This is one that increases your physical damage. I think it actually increases all damage types, so that is pretty significant as well. And for our burst damage spell, we have the Cataclysm spell. This is one that I found is very useful for getting right up next to people and aiming at the ground and then using it that way. And our last spell is the Lava Burst one. This is our ranged spell. Just in case someone is at a distance, we can use this to poke at people or kill basic mobs that are attacking us from a distance. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it in any way, make sure to drop a like on the video as well as you sub to the channel. I'll be making more build videos very soon, but that's pretty much it for me today. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.